everyone, and welcome back to another episode of your Pennsylvania Dutch Minute. Boy, it's good to be back with you guys and bring you some new material. So I was looking through all the videos that I've done so far, and I couldn't believe that I hadn't tackled this issue that I want to talk about today, and that is the Conestoga wagon. Now, there's a lot of ways that the Pennsylvania Dutch have contributed to the development of America from her early years through the 1800s into the 1900s, of course, now into the 2000s. But there are a couple things in particular that are really important contributions that the Pennsylvania Dutch made. And one of them absolutely has to be the Conestoga wagon. Maybe you've heard of them before, maybe not. Maybe you have some misconceptions about the Conestoga wagon. Uh, a lot of times people, when they watch an Old West movie and you see the, the covered wagons going west, think, oh, those are Conestoga wagons. Well, they're not exactly Conestoga wagons, and we'll talk about that here in this video today. So let's take a quick dive into the history of the Conestoga wagon. So, the Conestoga wagon is a specific type of a covered wagon, heavy covered wagon, in fact, that was used extensively during the late 18th century and the 19th century here in the eastern United States and into parts of Canada. And it was large enough to transport loads of up to six tons and was drawn by either horses, mules, or oxen. The first known specific mention of Conestoga wagon was by James Logan on December 31st, 1717 in his accounting log after purchasing it from James Hendricks. It was named after the Conestoga River or Conestoga Township in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, and was brought and introduced by the Pennsylvania Dutch. In colonial times, the Conestoga wagon was popular from migration southward through the Great Appalachian Valley along the Great Wagon Road. After the American Revolution, it was used to open up commerce to Pittsburgh and as far west as Ohio. In 1820, rates charged were roughly $1 per 100 pounds per 100 miles, with speeds of about 15 miles per day. The Conestoga, often in long wagon trains, was the primary overland cargo vehicle over the Appalachian Mountains until the development of the railroad. The wagon was pulled by a team of up to eight horses or a dozen oxen. In Canada, the Conestoga wagons were used by Pennsylvania Dutch migrants who left the United States for southern Ontario, settling various communities in and around the Niagara region, Kitchener, Waterloo areas, and the York regions. The Conestoga was built with its floor curved upward to prevent the contents from tipping and shifting. Including its tongue, the average Conestoga wagon was 18 feet long, 11 feet high, and 4 feet wide. It would carry up to 12,000 pounds of cargo. Now that seams in the body of the wagon were caulked with tar to protect them from leaking while crossing rivers. Also for protection against bad weather, a tough white canvas cover was stretched across the wagon. The frame and suspension were made of wood and the wheels were often iron rimmed for greater durability. Water barrels were built on the side of the wagon, toolboxes held tools needed for repair, and a feed box on the back of the wagon was used to feed the horses. The early freight wagon was not intended to be ridden upon. The wagon had a brake handle on the left side between the two wheels, and a teamster either walked beside the wagon or could ride standing, and could sit for a rough ride on a pull-out board called the lazy board that provided access to the brake handle. The left horse near the wagon was the wheel horse and was sometimes ridden. The Conestoga wagon began the custom of driving on the right-hand side of the road here in America. The peak years of use for the Conestoga wagons were from 1820 to 1840, and they were most, used most extensively in Pennsylvania and the nearby states of Maryland, Ohio, and Virginia. The wagons proved to be a particular use in carrying farm products such as corn, barley, and wheat to be sold in cities and to transport commodities back from urban to rural communities. The mid-century expansion of railroad lines ended the regular use of the Conestoga wagon to haul heavy freight, and by the outbreak of the Civil War in 1861, they were no longer being manufactured. So, the Conestoga wagon by far, you know, this is... You could make the argument that, of course, it's very easy to understand the Conestoga wagons and their teams and the Teamsters that were driving them were the early tractor-trailer trucks of American history. They got things moved, particularly farm, farm products like we talked about here, going from the farms in southeastern Pennsylvania by the Pennsylvania Dutch, taking their goods down into the cities, like into Philadelphia or into Reading or into Lancaster or into Allentown, and then bringing manufactured goods back to the people that lived out in the rural communities. 
you can't talk about the development or the early development of the United States as far as economics and trade and commerce without mentioning the Conestoga wagon. And of course, being replaced by the railroads, we know that the railroads would then be able to take things farther, faster, cheaper, etc. But it was really setting up that, you know, the basis for trade and commerce in the United States. How important is that when you think about it? And we can thank it all, pat on the back, to those early Pennsylvania Dutch wagon makers in and around the Conestoga area of Lancaster County. And that would spread, of course. You can see real Conestoga wagons for yourself. There are multiple ones that have survived. The Schwenkfelder uh, Museum and Center has one. I uh, included a picture of them in the video. But there are other ones throughout the state as well. So if you're really itching to see an actual Conestoga wagon, there are a few that have remained. Uh, head to a place that has them and you can see for yourself they were massive wagons and truly truly important to the development and early years of the united states of america if you have an idea for a future video you got to email me let me know no topic is too small or too big i guess for us to tackle also like to say a shout out to everybody that has donated and bought me a coffee over the last couple of years every dollar that's donated goes right back into the channel I've got some new lighting going on in here we're still kind of playing with it to get you know get it dialed in but those new lights those studio lights came via donations from all of you that have bought me a coffee the link is in the show notes down below till next time dear friends keep practicing your pennsylvania dutch go see a conestoga wagon in real life and mock scoot mock